Have you ever heard of the dogs of Chernobyl? After the nuclear explosion in 1986, more than 120,000 people were evacuated from the area and forced to leave their dogs behind. Soviet soldiers were sent to kill these animals in nearby Pripyat due to the fact that now the dogs themselves were radioactive, but found it impossible to capture them all. The abandoned pets that lived in the exclusion zone migrated to Chernobyl nuclear power plant, where their descendants remain to this day. Over years, and with lots of inbreeding, the dogs have morphed into mutts with genes of their own. Most of them share characteristics with German shepherds, as they have long been popular in the region. Today, hundreds of Chernobyl dogs rely on people working at the plant to keep them alive. The dogs rarely live to be older than a few years, but the specifics of the long-term effects of radiation on their bodies is not yet known. Did you know that what you're looking at right now is one of, if not the most dangerous objects known to man. Nicknamed the elephant's foot, this 2.2 ton mass was found about 8 months after the 1986 Chernobyl disaster, inside a corridor between the faulty number 4 reactor that caused the nuclear meltdown. The mound is made up of corium, which has been formed naturally just a small handful of times in history, because it only occurs when nuclear fuel and other parts of the reactor core structures overheat and melt together. The elephant's foot is so toxic that anyone who stood near it for a few hundred seconds around the time it was first discovered would almost certainly die. And it was so dense that it required shots from an AK-47 to break apart parts for analysis. At that point, the mass was only photographed by what was essentially a camera and a selfie stick from around several corners. Its toxicity has diminished over time, but I still want to drop by for a visit. Did you know that sunflowers have been used to clean up radioactive materials, like those released in the atmosphere during the Chernobyl nuclear power plant disaster in Ukraine in 1986? On that fateful April day, the plant's number 4 reactor, which had a flawed design and was operated by someone relatively untrained, exploded, releasing 50 tons of hazardous materials including metals. And you'd never believe it, but sunflowers can actually extract these metals from deep in the soil, purifying the area around a nuclear disaster. It's the same reason they were planted near the Fukushima disaster site. Once the sunflowers are grown, they're safely disposed of after plant material and the toxic material are separated, and the toxic metals can be safely stored underground. 